Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show market review of the QQQs getting into 3 o'clock major reversal time in the market today. And the market is green and is going to close green with a bottoming tail and a green body. And what did I say this morning? I actually taped the round. It's on YouTube. You can listen to it. You can listen to my market call for the morning. I said, I have 100% conviction the market closes today bullish. I don't know exactly what we do in the morning. It doesn't even matter why, because I have 100% conviction in one thing and one thing only today that the market holds and closes bullishly on the day and could even close not just with a tail, but a green body. And that's exactly what the market's going to do. I saw the gap. I read the gap this morning. I read what the market was doing. I read the overall chart. I read the intraday charts. Market held so fast this morning. Market held into the 9.45 reversal time and has rallied all day. Rallied all day. Okay. So for all the people that think the market's crashing, it is not. I am getting bombarded by stuff that's saying that the market is crashing. I'm getting bombarded by stuff by saying that this market's in a downtrend. And it's not. Again, this will be one of my signature calls that I've ever made to date that the market is definitively higher this year for 2015 as bullish. And someone in the room this morning was talking about me uh, being queen of the spy or something because I've been known for my market calls. This is going to be one of one of just the best ones here because I, I literally everyone out there saying the market's in a downtrend and it's going to crash and it's just not. And, and today, this was so tough to call it because the market really could have dropped today. It could have fallen today. And I didn't know exactly where we go in the morning, but I knew one thing and one thing for sure, which I had 100% conviction in, which that the market would close bullish today. And it did. And there it is. And also, the market has held, held beautifully, and has never, never broken the uptrend. However, a lot of people think it has, but it hasn't. And that's how I'm able to call this so well. Why? Because I know how to trade gaps. This very specific, intricate, detailed, advanced, amazing, beautiful, golden gap thing that I figured out has enabled me to call this market like this and be able to read trends correctly, including any ETF. Okay. I just so happen to be looking at the QQQs and the SPY because I look at them every day when I trade because I like to know what the overall market's doing. And it's good to be aware of that. Okay. But the market is strong, and it's like, no matter what we do tomorrow, we're going to be strong. We're going to close out this week strong. Whether we gap neutral tomorrow, gap up tomorrow, I don't see us gapping down tomorrow. Could we? Yes. Do I think we're going to? No. Is that low odds we gap down tomorrow? Yes. Most likely we gap up or neutral into tomorrow's open, into Friday. I know there's some reports out. And so we're going to close strong this week actually. Very, very strong. We're going to end up closing the month of January strong. In fact, let's just <laughs> let's just look at this here. Let's just put it out here. Where did we start the year? I'm going to look at the open of the year. The open of the QQQs for the calendar year was 103.76. We'll see where we close tomorrow. <laughs> I wouldn't even put it past it for us to get above that or close to that, or 80% near that for the close of the month. Look at that. So the open of the calendar year 2015 was 103.76, and everyone's screaming bearish, bearish, bearish. And, you know, like I said, we're probably going to get neutral up tomorrow and rally. So let's just say we rally all the way up to 103, 102, 102, 150, 103. And again, I don't know where we gap tomorrow. We can even gap up a lot. I mean, I wouldn't even put it past that because of the strong close here. The market got bought today. Otherwise, it wouldn't have held here. And I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Okay? I saw it before it happened. Watch the room. So anyways. We're going to retrace at least 80%, possibly get above or neutral to it from the original open of the calendar year. Again, nothing bearish here. I really am extremely good at reading both strength and weakness, because I can read money direction. I can read how money moves and the price of it and how it flows in the market. But the one thing is I love to do shorts. Okay. I love to short. I short stocks every day. Unless there's nothing good. Okay. But because I'm shorting all the time, if, if I love to short and I'm the short queen and I love to short, and I'm great at spotting weakness and I'm not saying the market's weak. What do you think? I mean, just seriously. Okay. If I saw the market was weak, I would say it. Why? I'm great at spotting weakness. I love weakness. I love red bars in the market. I love to short. 
If the market was weak, I would know it. I'm the short queen. I can spot weakness like that in a millisecond. In a second, I can see weakness in something. And specifically in gaps. And none of these bearish gaps here in the market were anything to do anything with. And if the market was weak, I would know it. Why? Because I am incredible at shorting. I am so great at doing that. And if I saw weakness here in the market or an opportunity to short, number one, I would be doing it or I would see it and I would call it and I would know it. And it's not there. So, you know, if this was really going to crash, I would, I would see it before anyone because it had a spot weakness. And this is just not there, okay? The market is strong. But I also really am good at reading strength. Or I wouldn't be able to read that the market's higher the way that I am. The market is definitely, definitely higher this year. And a great call I made here for this strong close. I mean, this is, we're not even done yet. It's an hour left of trading. We're going to, we could end up closing at 102. But the thing what I'm trying to point out is that I'm good at reading money in the market, whether it's strong or weak. But since I focus mainly on shorts, if there was any ounce of weakness here, I wouldn't hold back in saying it. Again, I would not hold back in saying it because I teach a bearish gap class. I would say it, and then everyone in the world would want to learn how to short. A lot of people don't know how to short. And the amazing thing is I'm shorting all the time in a strong market and making money on the downside even with the market running higher, higher, all of 2012, 13, 14. It's going to continue to happen this year. And we're going to we're gonna close strong here. I mean, we can just keep rallying here to the close. There's another hour left in the day. So if we don't rally up here tonight into the close, I mean, we're probably going to gap somewhere in this range between 102 and 102.50 tomorrow. You know, But I wouldn't even put it past us to gap up big time tomorrow. But it's really interesting because I have a feeling we're going to close the month, which is one more day of the month of January, the first month of 2015. And after everyone has been panicking and crying about the market and saying how weak it is, the market's going to end up closing for the month, not weak. It may 100% retrace the move that it had in the month or above it or 80% either way. Either way, the market will close strong this first month of the year which counts, all right, to take us into February. And I predicted this a couple of days ago whenever I saw it. I think it was either the end of last week, the beginning of this week, and have to trail back on my videos. February is going to be a really bullish month. I mean, absolutely here and now this action here today and the way we're going to close tomorrow is confirming that and giving me the confirmation and the conviction that the market's going to be really higher in the month of February and we'll make a new high. And that could have happened this week. I mean, it absolutely could have happened this week too. It didn't. Does that change anything? No. The market's still holding beautifully. And as I discussed in the room today, the market's holding a very, very minimal support level here and has never broken it. And, uh, you know, again, this is something that I know how to do because I know how to read gaps. The reason I'm good at reading trends, overall trends of things, whether or not they break or follow through, is because I know how to read gaps. So, so you got to understand a couple of different things. One, you have to look at an overall trend of something. And then everyone wants to know, is it going to continue or where is it broken? So they know what to do with their position, whether enter it in the opposite direction or take out of it if they're already in it, meaning is the move over. What gaps, what the golden gap 26-point rating system, what I have invented and do myself and I now teach people, and this reason I'm good at reading everything here that's happening in the market, is because the gap rating system tells you when a chart is broken or when a chart is going to continue. Very important, okay? Because there was never any question here that the market was higher to me. Not even an ounce of a question. Although I look at everything every day just to double check myself. People were guessing the market was crashing, guessing the market's lower, and some people actually believe the market is in a downtrend. All of that is completely erroneous. I don't guess anything. I'm predicting targets, and I'm reading the current price action. And the current price action for this market is strong and bullish and has never not been. And I'm predicting the next targets for the market, and so on and so on and so forth. And I'm doing that based on, based on the price action, based on the numbers I'm seeing here live that happen every day in the action in the market and in gaps. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Great call, StockSwish in the market today. Held even faster than it needed to. And we will close very, very bullish, just as I predicted. In fact, even more bullish than I predicted, although I knew we closed strong. 
And we'll see where we end up tomorrow, into the end of the month. February is going to be a great, great month. Oh, my gosh. February is going to be such a great month for me and anyone that's trading with me in the live room. I am doing a Golden Gap class in February, February 7th and 8th. If you're interested and want to sign up and learn my method, email me at thestockswoosh.com for registration papers. Have a fantastic evening, everyone. And great job today, everyone in the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. Everyone nailed my trade play of the day with me. Great job, everyone. And have a fantastic evening.